a few stories and I changed my mind, but now that it's a smaller group, I feel like it's a safer environment. <laughs> so if I can have your permission to be honest, um, I want to try doing the, uh, that's too hard to do that. So just tell you know, I got four you. minutes or so. Um, <laughs> So if I can have your permission to be honest and really share my heart, and then second, to not take it too seriously. Because I was reading the news today and it, that's what made me rethink telling this story. So this is, we're just kind of, this is fun. Yes. Escaping reality. Yes. So um, in the room, if you've had a child or had a woman in your life who's had a child, raise, okay. So all the adults in the room. So I'm also given some education. I just always feel like I'm educating the youth when I talk about like, babies. Hey, <laughs> educate away. <laughs> Let me teach you about life. So before I had a kid, I don't know about you guys, but before I had a kid, I was always pretty confident as far as like taking care of myself. I learned early on. I heard somewhere, you know, look people in the eye if you feel intimidated and stuff. So I kind of felt that way. But something happened when I was pregnant. And I don't know if it happened to anyone else in here or if you saw it happen to women in your life. But I remember being pregnant with my daughter and it was like, wow, like I love her so much. And if anything ever happened to her, like I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> and I don't take that lightly, but I, and I, I want to joke, but I'm, I'm also pretty serious. And I feel like the moms in the group would get it. Like you just, there's something about it that like, this is mama bear, I'm protecting this child. So I felt that way. And I think I was just being emotional with my husband that like, I want to love her and protect her. So a couple years goes by, I'm now pregnant with my son. So 15 month old and seven months pregnant. To do the math, they're 17 months apart. Now, I won't ask you to come up, but if you guys want to visualize, if I a small man, or not a small man, a regular size man, if you were to get into a ball shape, that was the size of my stomach. And I'm not being facetious, I'm not being like, I felt like I was so big. I literally was my OB after she delivered. I'm telling, sorry girls, it's PSA, I gotta teach you guys. There's the placenta, and I I hold the title of the biggest placenta she's ever delivered. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So I was lit, like, I was, and my baby was almost 10 pounds. So like, oh there was gosh. a lot going on there. So I wanted to give you the visual because I'm seven months pregnant, and I go to an FBI talk, it was for some women's council, and they're talking about if someone comes up to carjack you, you know, and ways to keep yourself safe. And he goes, you know, you wanna, with the key, and you wanna go for the eyes or somewhere else, and that made sense. But I'm sitting there, and because it's a QA, and a I'm like, well, I'm gonna take advantage of asking a question. So I stand up with my, you know, small man child in my belly, and I said, well, my instinct, though, would be to go for the jugular, because I'm thinking, kill, kill, kill. And he's like, um, no, you know, you don't wanna do that, because, and Whatever his answer was, I don't really remember because it was at that moment I thought, I'm a little much. Like, I need to take a step back. <laughs> like, I am showing my crazy, so get back. Call my parents because, you know, chat with our folks. And I tell my dad this, and he's retired Army, and I said, you know, the truth of the matter is, I'm sure if I was confronted with an emergency, dangerous situation, I would probably just pee myself. And I did tell Cammy I was not going to do potty humor, but it always <laughs> makes me in my life because I talk about it all the time. And so I tell my dad, you know, oh, I'd probably just pee myself and it wouldn't happen. You know, I would just freak out. And he goes, well, actually, the way you react in situations is the way you think you will. So you really might, you know, go at it. And so I was like, oh, all right, cool. So a week later, I'm coming home, small man, 15 month old baby. And I come to my house and I open the kitchen door, it was locked, but I live in the country and my husband has a bad habit of not locking the door sometime. And so I don't know why, but I was a little paranoid. And so I walked in and my vertical blinds were just ever so slightly moving. Not, not, was just, just a little. And then my, my brain moves very fast. And so I was like, oh, so I'm good. No, that didn't happen. There's no one here. I'm just gonna walk over, waddle over and see if it's unlocked. And if it's unlocked, then I'll start to worry. But if it's locked, I just forget about it. So I'm waddling over and I turn the blinds and it's unlocked. Oh no, I open the door. I turn out and there's a man running away and I start you know, yelling expletives. I'm gonna, you better. And the man stops and turns around and it was my husband. <laughs> and I'm like ready to throw down, you know. What are you in my house? Curse word, curse word. And 
<laughs> he freaks out because he was home for lunch, and but he had parked at his parents' house who were across the street, and he wanted to scare me because obviously we you know, have fun. And so he was coming to scare me, but I ended up scaring him. So I was very proud of myself, this story, like, oh my, I'm willing to throw down for my kids. I reacted the way I thought I was. So I told this story for like a good a couple of years, like I was the um, star of it, and I'm the winner of the story. I'm the like, yes, ladies, we can do anything bare hands. I was, like that's, I had this confidence. And I told this to a friend of mine whose husband actually teaches self-defense. And she's listening to me. She's not laughing. And she's like, oh. No worries, like, keep going. She's like, that really, that really wasn't smart though because you're seven months pregnant and you had a baby. Like, what would you have done? So you really put them in harm's way. Like you needed to retreat. So the point of the story is changes. Although I had this confidence and even have it that I could like take on anything, as great as that change is, I also realized I needed to temper it down a little bit for the ultimate safety of my family. Thank you. <laughs>